There's a lot of hype about this new open source model, Coin 2.5 Coder. It's a 32 billion parameter model, and everyone's talking about how brilliant it is, like the next big thing after sliced bread. We're gonna test it out, or should I say taste it? Coin 2.5 Coder is being called a big deal. It's just been released with code artifacts, and now's the time. The perfect moment to see if it's really our best coder model ever. They say it's highly competitive, even surpassing GPT-40. People are claiming it beats everything. DeepSeek, GPT-40, and Sonnet. They must have done something amazing. So we're definitely testing it right now. Plus, we have a free $10 credit to use, so why not? I've got the API key ready. I just copied it here. Now, after that, all you have to do is paste your API key. First up, let's start with something simple, a Pomodoro app, just to see if Quinn can actually create it. First things first, we're going to install Veek in the current directory. We'll ignore the files and just continue. Cool, it's up and running. Let's run a couple of commands to make sure everything looks good. All right, let's start it up. It's working, the count is good, okay. Let's shift gears and turn it into a Pomodoro app. We'll start with a simple prompt just to test it out. Hmm, that's not the fastest model. It's actually pretty slow. Okay, now it wants to create some files. Let's go with that. It seems to be done, so let's restart the server. Uh-oh, there's an error. failed to parse source for input. Okay, let's make sure to rename the file to JSX. Turns out it's using both app.js and app.jsx. Let's sort that out. Let's check the map. No repository map available. All right. We'll try creating V in the current folder again. Ignoring the existing files. After that, npm install and npm run dev looks all right. Next. We're going to initialize git. Let's check the status. Definitely don't want the .env file. Status looks good. Now, inception. Then git branch clean. With our branch ready, we can fall back if needed. It's case sensitive though, so we need to be careful. Let's go ahead and let Ader do its thing. Repo map was disabled, so let's enable it now. Cool, repo map is on. I've seen a lot of people run into issues because they didn't enable it, so it's worth doing.
Now let's ask you to create a Pomodoro app from our React app. All right, it wants to add it to chat. Go ahead, add the index and the main.jsx. Looks like it's done and I'm not seeing any immediate errors. Awesome. Let's start it, stop it, start it again, and reset it. Everything's working. Now let's ask it to add the ability to save tasks while the Pomodoro is running. Let's see where it's trying to save the Pomodoros by going to our git commit history. It's using state. Okay. Save task. Okay. It's using a button. We're going to ask it to use checkboxes instead. Let's just see how it looks. Okay. It starts. Cool. So the next step, we're going to add express.js and an SQLite database. Why is it producing random text now? No, it's messing up everything now. It was coming together well, and now it's just messing everything up. And I saw every video, every review of this model is doing exactly this. And they say it's better than GPT-40. This model was just made to pass ADAR benchmarks and all the other benchmarks. It is not acceptable. We need better benchmarks. We need benchmarks that cannot be rigged like this. No, oh, what is this? This is gibberish. Even smaller models hallucinate, but they don't do this. Let's give it the benefit of a doubt. It might be a context issue. I'm going to restart ADAR and give it the same prompt. Okay, let's give it this prompt again to create a backend in Express.js. Create the files. Okay, it wants to create files. We're all good with that. Continue. That's good. Did it update the front end? Is the front end updated? Let me add the front end files. Cool. And then let's proceed to update the front end. Start. Task 1. API tasks not found. HTTP 404. Oh my goodness. What did it actually send? Server API. There are no tasks here. Ah, uh, this is very bad. There's no functionality here. And this is just a bad model. Let's see how Claude Sonnet does with the exact same prompt. Let's start ADAR with the latest Sonnet 
Let's reset the chat history. Check the repo map. And tell it to go. This looks much, much better. Let's tell it to save the tasks through an Express API into a SQLite. I'm very surprised that Sonnet made such a rookie mistake using require instead of the newer import. Let's give it the error so it can resolve it. Now the server is running. It created the DB here. The DB has a tasks table in it. It has the completed column, the text, and ID columns. Let's tell it that tasks should be saved for a session. A session starts when a Pomodoro begins. Okay. Added a session ID column. That's good. Now, let's try making it dark themed to see how it looks. Okay, it's definitely dark. I can see the task clearly without hurting my eyes. We have video one, video two, and task three. They all have the same session ID, and one of them is marked as completed. Let's complete task three. There, it's marked as completed. Going back to the database, it shows as completed here. We're gonna start a new session now. Short break, start. Break, task one, add. Okay, it does send an HTTP request. Checking the database. Yes, it started a new session. I'm actually going to use this app. It's looking good. Okay, we'll wait for the next coding model. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video.